The panel discussion at ATM concluded by saying that the Indian tourism industry will have a distinctive role in the world tourism market. And let's talk about reality. Airlines, they don't give you commissions, right? They've withdrawn the whole thing. Hotels, the way they are going kind of situation, the way they treat some of the travel agencies and all that, you know how the commissions are going, is really going down kind of situation. And if the agencies are if the agencies are not paid, they don't get the aviation money, they don't get the hotels money. <laughs> some of them are dappling with that whole charging extra money to the clients for servicing them and all that. Where does where this where will this industry go? Who's going to share, sherpa them around to make sure that this is the way you survive? When a market matures, transparency sets in. So Indian market is maturing at a very rapid pace. So transparency will set in, which means a consumer will know that the price of the product that I'm buying is X, but I'm paying a fee of 3.5 to 4.5 to 5.5 percent on top of it, and I am getting service for it. So when markets mature, this shift will automatically happen. It happens in every industry. I expect Sherpa to be media like you. I expect Sherpa to be the travel associations in India who will continuously campaign for for for, for putting a mechanism in place, a council in place, a regulatory in place to educate travel people saying that, look, come on a service charge platform. So it becomes a volume game, then the biggies will survive. What happened to the mom and chop shop shops? That's, that's the other sad part of they it. They will not survive on their own. I will give you an example of companies in India that they pick up a target of 100 crores from an airline to get 3 or 4% extra. But that target is not achieved by them alone through their consumer base. They need every large medium small agency to come and support them what are you looking at kind of situation did you expect india this is the way you expected india to be kind of situation since we're talking about india and the future how do you look at it going forward i know that india has huge growth potential it's not there yet but it will happen it will happen very quickly like we said very aggressively so i think you know in in the next two three four years you will see that india will become a much more dominant face on the global tourism stage. A lot of people do compare us to like different things like China and others, but they were over things which they did were there was group travels, there were a different controlled kind of travel. In India, everyone is a king. Everybody wants to travel in his own way and his own space. So going forward, what's your take that how is it going to be the future looking like for you for Indians? India is the second largest English speaking nation of the world. So it will not be a market like a China. It will, it will be an independent market, it will be an independent traveler's market. And let me tell you, this is where the blend will come. The whole world will look at China differently and India differently.